Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We continue uh, where we left off the last time. I've uh, cut down all the trees on that hill that was over there. I removed the hill, made it nice uh, and flat. Lost almost flat, it's probably not 100% flat. But what I'd like to do is make another field here for the sunflowers so that we have a little bit more oil to produce. And I'm going to do that on this side. So I'm going to pick up a tractor. And yeah, let's pick up this one. That's strong enough. And let's see where the plow is located. I think over there. Yep, on the back side. So let's see if we can make a nice field for our sunflowers. Now we do have a lot of money, so we probably could uh, buy a few more fields also. And yeah, maybe a second tractor, but don't want to spend too much at the moment. Because I'm not quite sure where we need it for exactly. We do at least need another header then, if we have sunflowers. To make sure that we can also do some other stuff uh, than only the grasses, like uh, wheat and barley and oat and that kind of stuff. So let's see, we want to stay a little bit uh, on the side here, I guess. Around here would be fine, so that we have uh, a little bit to drive. Maybe we could go straight up all the way. We're almost at the... Maybe we could even go a little bit closer. Something like this. I think that would be wide enough, to be honest. Although we still have to... Uh... Let's say we want to have 10 meters. If we pick up 26, how would that look? Uh, uh, working with 26 meters. There we go. Oh, that's a little bit much. I think. If we do it like this, then we have uh, basically 10 meters left to our left side. I think that's a little bit too much. Mm, we could go for maybe 8 meters. I just want to have a little bit more room for that factory, but 8 meters could be fine. So 8 and 8 is 16. Uh, wait, why did I have... Yo, that was 10 meters. If I had 8 and 3, that would be 11, so that makes 22. So let's see... Basically something like this then. Yeah, I think that will do. That will do. This is the good uh, line. So let's put you now on the real width. The 6.2. 6 oh, that's okay with me. I think. Uh, let's turn that one on so that we can make fields. And move along in this direction. Yeah, that should be fine. So we don't have a complete field because I'd like to have some more buildings on this side. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger in the future. I'm not quite sure, but let's go all the way up here. And on 36, I'm not quite sure. I moved the, the tree feller over there. I think that's going to be the next... Uh, spot we are going to buy yeah we could make this a little bit bigger uh, in this direction that's for sure going up to the border let's do that let's uh, figure out where that is exactly well we basically can almost see where we have to go let's uh, lift you up for now and do our uh, famous trick again let's put you in the middle of that white line a little bit further uh, let's see how we are doing in here we can see that usually a little bit better uh, oh no i'm not quite there it seems need to be a little bit further Something like that. Uh, spot on. Okay, let's uh, mark this one. Then go one to the side. 
There we go. That should do it. And that should be our reference point. Well, this will do. Yeah, we have to close that up, but I'd like to have uh, a reasonable distance between them. I also see that some of the trees are starting to grow a little bit bigger on the back side. Maybe we can check that out at some point. But we do need more trees, so I'm not quite sure how, what and when, but we have to figure out uh, how to plant a little bit more. This also is a very nice spot uh, over there. 34. Looking uh, nice and flat. Not much to be done. Uh, I think I might want to do this. Let's see how this uh, will look. No, not that one. This one. A uh, little bit further to the right. Uh, left, sorry. Guess something like this would be okay ish. Uh, wrong button again. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's uh, do this and then go one to the side. Uh, wait, I can use that field as reference. That's maybe even better. Maybe I'm spot on, not sure, but let's have a look. We still have a field there. Let's go in its... Uh, seems to be pretty straight on here, uh, I think. Let's have a look. How are we doing? Yeah, that's basically good. Yeah, okay. So the question is, how are we doing it over here? Well, that's a little bit easier, of course. We can do something like this. That's fine. Go to the next line. One over here and use that then. Uh, we could start over there. Why not? Then go the other way around. Yeah, and I might want to make it a little bit bigger. Make it more like an L-shaped. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit more to the right here that we need to pick up. And then we should be go good on this side. Let's go back slowly. A little bit more. I think this will do. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay, excellent. So move in this direction. We can always uh, cut away a piece of the field if we uh, don't need it any longer or we need it for something else. So basically, yeah, there is some kind of a path. I think we go up to the path. Uh, show you what I mean in a moment. Uh, let's uh, see. You need to be around. Well, basically around here. That should be wide enough to pick it up from this side. Let's see. How are we dealing here? Uh, is this? No, not quite. I think this is it. Yep, so let's uh, move you a little bit forward and backwards so that you're lined out correctly. That's about it. Drop you down. You can go a little bit further back. Maybe one little nudge more. There we go. That's good. Now we can go all the way down there and then make a little bit more. This, you see now from here on there seems to be some kind of a path going up uh, all the way down there and I think that's about where I want to make the field not the path that goes to the shop but some somewhere in that direction where we're looking at now see light light area almost to the left side now of the screen but we'll see A 
this is going to be for our sunflowers then. And maybe we should make an oat field also. We don't have oat or sorghum. We have choices. At the end I want to have a field for all the crops that we can uh, have. One more. Just one more. There we go. Lift this up. Need to fill this gap here. Uh, I don't think I need uh, any guidance for that. Let's drop you a little bit more. A little bit closer here. There we go. That's good enough. And basically we can continue up to the border of this field. Yeah, why not? So I do need the guidance here. Okay, fair enough. I think this is good enough. And uh, we are almost at the border, not quite. Does this... Yeah, this goes nice. I uh, have to look at this one here. Uh, yeah, let's find out what exactly uh, here the line is. I'm pretty close to it. Yeah, then we get a little bit more field here. So uh, let's, uh, that's the wrong one. Well, basically straight on. Need to be a little bit. I think this should, oh, wrong one. Yeah, this is good enough. That's definitely good enough. Let's do this. Then go to the side here. Pick it up from this spot. Let me see. Okay, we need a little bit more over here, but that's okay. I think this is fine. Yep, that's looking good. So lift you up and I'm gonna connect this one right here. Stay away about this size. Yep, that's good. Lift it up again. We can continue down here. That should do it. So this field is going to be a little bit bigger than I anticipated at first, but that's okay. And on 36 at the end we can also make a nice field, but I want to have that bump uh, removed. It's too big. And it's not that difficult to remove the bumps, so why not? I mean, those little bumps are fine, but the big uh, hills, yeah, we're gonna cut them out. Let me see if I can see that, uh, that path that I was talking about. Yeah, we're basically going up to... That's probably not the path, probably more the boundary of the, the forest that was here. Uh, we could go up to where the grass grows, something like roughly, I think this, this would be a nice, yeah, and go in the future in that direction, we could go a little bit further. Maybe up to here, that uh, seems to be good enough. Now we still have room to place another building here, if we want to. And at some point we need some animals also. We could start with some sheep, for example. Would be a nice thing to have. Let's see, will this work? Uh, probably not. Too, too far away, yep. That seems to be better. There we go. Done. So that's basically another field shaped. And if we have enough grass, yeah, then we should be able to... Uh, I could buy a little bit more land, I think. And maybe one or two more buildings. But let's see. Let's first uh, make this and do everything at the same time. But we definitely going to have a few more fields. And like I said, I want to build a little bit around the, the pond. 
maybe over there let's uh, see if we can have a closer look here so basically we're going up to here so this is our building area probably also this around here yeah and then we have to see what uh, else we are going to do in the future not quite sure yet but we do have a little bit more flat land now to uh, to go on it seems that the whole 40 row so to speak of 45 46 are reasonably flat a little bit of a hill in there but that's okay that's not really uh, a problem A little bit of double plowing now it seems because yeah we need to have that little spot here but at least this will keep our uh, oil mill running a little bit uh, longer I hope with the sunflowers and at some point we also want to have uh, a vineyard and an olive yard and the olives could also help with that but yeah creating those costs a lot of money they're very expensive, but that's okay. At some point we will, we will make tons of money, so... Yeah, just have to be patient. That's all. So, that's up to here. Then we can go all the way down. Yeah, that should be the correct uh, line, because on the top we still need to do some stuff, so let's pick up this one then. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit double, but it is what it is. So I will continue with uh, this field, plowing it uh, completely, and when I'm almost done I'll be back with you, and then we're gonna buy the field info, uh, and then we have to see... Uh, yeah, we can't do anything yet with it, it's January, so we can't... Uh, put anything on it not even cover crops but January is a month that you can't do anything at all as far as I can tell only harvest popular grass or oilseed radish not sure why you want to harvest oilseed radish but we work it into the ground but we ain't gonna do that we wait until uh, we're going to seed so uh, see you in a moment and instead using this thing to plow the whole field. I think I'm going to buy another one, a little bit bigger. We do have enough money and we do have the power for it, so why not? I've uh, checked it. You can use uh, a cultivator, of course, to plow, but then you don't get the plow status. But uh, we do have this one over here. It's 16.7 meters and needs 320 horsepower. So our bigger tractor can easily uh, do that. So why not pick up this one to fill in the the whole thing that might be a little bit more convenient this is a good plow to uh, measure and to easily create the outline of the field to make sure that you can do it exactly because it's very small you can very good uh, have very good control of it you can nice make nice corners and that kind of stuff but Filling all of it in, yeah, that requires a little bit more uh, than we have here. And why shouldn't I do it? I mean, we do have the money. And we're probably going to get more in February, so not too much to worry about. I did although fill uh, the furniture factory with uh, logs besides of the plank, so that should be going nice also. So let's put this one here and pick up the other one, yep. There's grass in there, please start the engine. Oh, I locked it on, I need to uh, get rid of it. There we go. So let's have a look at our new plow. Ooh, 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 okay, there was something standing over there. Didn't notice it. I thought it was free, I could go through there, but I couldn't. Oops, my mistake. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, well it seems I do need a little bit of fuel and a repair for my tractor. Yeah, this one is a little bit of a workhorse for our farm. Look at that, there we go. Do I need uh, a weight on the front for this one? We might want to have a weight, I think. Yeah, this is going to be heavy. Let's see. Mm. We do have class weights here. I think we have other ones also. This is... All fence, but we do have this one over here. We can get a heavier one. I don't think we need that much. We should be fine with... Uh, 1.8 tons. Let's buy this. Yep, why not? And at some point we might even want to have for our light attractor also a weight, but oops. There we go. This might be a little bit better because I saw the tractor making a strange jump when it uh, connected to the plow. And we do have the wheel weights, but still. I think this might be a little bit uh, more convenient. Yeah, I think this does better. Uh, the real heavy ones are for the big tractors, bigger as this one. But we're still managing without, so uh, let's head back to the farm and see what uh, we can do with this. Okay, so I think it's best... Well, uh, maybe I do fit. I'm not sure. Yeah, should be okay. And I'm going to disconnect you here. The first the repair, because otherwise I have to turn back with that one, and that's not... The most convenient. Uh, gonna probably gonna cost us some money. Yeah, nine thousand six hundred and three. Okay, repairing the tractor is expensive, but definitely needed. There we go, and then let's see if we can position ourselves to refuel. Should be okay. Yeah, it's doing it. Good. Uh, this should make the job uh, a little bit easier and quicker with uh, this white uh, plow. It will cost... Uh, let's go in front of this one. Yeah, that's uh, no problem. We can turn around here, I think. Should be doable. Although that's a pretty small gap here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we have a little bit more room over here. That's... Uh, look, th this fits nicely. So this is good. The one over there is a little bit small, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Ain't gonna change that. Let's see if we can uh, line this one up properly. And make ourselves uh, a little bit of a bigger uh, working area with this. A little bit quicker. Uh, detect width 17.6. That seems to be right. Mm, this doesn't seem to be right at all. Let's uh, move you over. I think this will do. And then we are basically uh, all on. So let's turn on field making. There we go, and there we are. That's uh, that's way better than six meters. This is almost three times as wide, and still doing fifteen uh, kilometers an hour. So yeah, this is way better. Makes it so much easier to create a field, and this tractor can handle it. Not a problem. And I think the weight helps. I'm almost sure about it. So we might want to have a weight. Oh, I still have a little bump in here. I didn't flatten that out completely. Look at that. Missed some spot. Let's uh, change that before we do anything else. Uh, landscaping. Let's flatten you. Like I said, a little bump is not too bad, but this is a little bit too big. 
And if I do this, I'm gonna remove the field again, so... Uh, let's smoothen this out a little bit now. That should be fine and should be enough. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, bumpy, but that's fine. Not, uh, nothing to worry about. I don't think I have any spots left that are not quite as it should be. Yeah, the rest seems to be fine. Okay, well, see you in a moment when uh, we finish the field. Okay, we're on the last stretch here. For the plowing field 35. And yeah, we should be okay. Not much we can do. We can't seed anything, but we can buy the field info and see how that looks. And then I think we can go on to the next uh, next month because there isn't much to do. Maybe can check if we can sell some stuff in February. Who knows? And maybe buy that field over there and start cutting those trees. That's also a possibility. But not something that needs to be done uh, this month. And at some point we might want to have some sheds for our equipment. Because everything is standing in the open. Maybe not the best uh, thing for the equipment. Definitely not in real life of course. But... Okay, let's see, let's buy the, the field info first, that might be, not sure if I can buy it or I need to reload the game again like last time, probably, uh... doesn't have it even registered here that it's, uh... but I can do anything, okay, so, going over there, maybe it needs a little bit more time to update that, could be a possibility. Now it has. Can I now buy the field info? No. Still not. It doesn't want to do anything. We have a score of 94 overall. That's good. This is already at 80 now. So that's going, uh, going well. But... Down here. Let's see what kind of building we could add to our uh, collection that we have at the moment. I uh, think I'm going to put this one down here for now. It's a pretty big boy. So if we dropped it here we should be okay for now. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see what... We do still have some wood. Uh... Oh, let's uh, turn the tractor off. There we go. We still have some buildings that uh, produce things from wood, if I'm not mistaken. Paper factory we have. The pet accessory factory we don't have, but we still don't have wool. So that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, the flooring factory. Yeah, we could do that. Flooring factory would be fitting nicely over here. Um, okay, uh, the spawn point is here. Uh, we better off with doing something like this, I guess. Yeah, that might be a better idea. We don't have to... Ooh, that's close to my new field. That... Ooh, okay. The furniture factory we don't have, but we don't have steel yet. The battle factory we can't do anything with. The spinnery that will come. I think there was an other one. The wood turner. Yeah, that needs raw wood. But that's okay. That's not really a problem. And we can drop that. Well, if we can do something like... Uh, let me see. What's the best... Probably do something like this. You turn you into 
Yeah, maybe this one. That would be okay-ish. There we go. That's uh, clearing this out a little bit. Why not? With some nice paint. Uh, there we go. Uh, let me increase this a little bit. This might be something like this. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Okay. Uh, let me pick up the truck because I still have wood here. The logs, the raw wood, so to speak of. need to do that on the side I think oh no uh, yeah that should be here on the side over here so that's a good spot that's easy to to get here and there we go and you need it also um, let me have a quick look no not this one uh, this one there we go uh, you also need it. Uh, the wood turner has raw wood, and oh yeah, we need to make basically everything here. Why not? Okay, what? Oh, it's different depending on what. Okay, this makes from raw wood, and ah, uh, I see. Uh, that's good. Fair enough. Uh, you need the uh, long planks, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the sawmill here and long planks don't have much. Uh, it's already on distributing. Okay, so we probably won't get much long planks anymore. We can pick up uh, a little bit with. Uh, and what do you need? Also long planks and planks. So let's uh, put planks also on distributing. There we go, distributing. We probably should... Uh... Now, what's this? Is this a long... No, that's the beams. This one and... Long plexi and this one. So, that's what they need. So, let's, let's give them that. We do have them laying around here, so why not? I hope that uh, the sawmill can produce enough of this stuff. Uh, now let me have a look what needs what. Oh! What the uh, heck happened there? Okay. Uh, I think I accidentally hit the tab. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, not this one, this one. So. The planks go into. Okay, I need one pallet of planks in the flooring factory. Yeah. And I need long planks in both of them. So I think this is the flooring factory here on the right. If I'm not mistaken. Otherwise it simply won't accept it. That's easy as that. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. And then it needs uh, some long planks and also the other one needs also long planks. And then the rest should come from, from the distribution process. But at least we helped it out, now it can start. Otherwise it might take a while before... Uh... So let's do this. Now 
we can go through here, that's not a problem. Yep, that works good. That's one load of long planks. And then another one for factory over there. Yeah, I don't place them with the front to a specific uh, spot. I place them when it's most easy to uh, get the stuff in or to pick it up. And there we go. Have another one. And bring that also. spot and then I'm going to reload the game quickly to see if I can buy the field info uh, this one needs to go in here this is basically the front of the building but so much easier if we have it like this okay so uh, let me quickly reload okay so let's uh, Pick it up now because it works as far as I can tell. Yeah, now we have a score of 33. That brings down our environmental score uh, a decent amount. That's not the best thing, but let's uh, purchase the information. Uh, oh, already going up to 48 now. That's uh, better. That's good. And well, there is no. Oh, yeah, there is a little bit of clay. So we might have more clay around here then. Maybe this could be good for potatoes or sugar beet or maybe over here I'm not sure but we have to figure that out at some point but i'm gonna leave it at this people I'd like to thank you all for watching don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't already done so and hopefully until the next time bye for now